everybody, I am Bunky. Welcome to Bunky's Workshop. And yeah, we got Gidget here. She just woke up from a nap. She's a sweetheart. But anyways, I am bringing you, oh now my nose itches, some Yankee candles, as you could probably tell from the title. But uh, I ordered three new ones. Well, two new ones. One is just a replacement. Um, but basically it was something like buy one get buy three for 43 that's what it was buy three large jar candles for 43 dollars free shipping that's what it was i don't I, as i've said before i only buy them when they're on sale because they're um 25 32 dollars Oh, I can't remember. I haven't bought one for full price, but I know they're like 30 or $32 a piece, something like that. I'm not paying that for a candle. So when they're on sale, I buy them. So I received a message from a young lady that watched my one video on the candles. And um, she was talking about how to take care of them and stuff like that. So she wasn't 100% sure what I was talking about. So I don't think I explained it clearly. So I'm going to give it another try. So, what it is, let me find it. There it is. Okay, so y'all know, y'all know that my favorite candle is this one, Fresh Cut Roses. That's one of my favorites. And as you can see, I have been burning it a lot. It's just about a quarter down, almost to half. And now as you also can see, there's no soot, it's clean. And as you can see, the wax is evenly burning down. It's not burning a hole down the center. It's not wasting the wax. It's not making a mess. Um, all you can smell when this is burning is the scent that it is. And this one's fresh cut roses. And so the question was, how do you know how far to trim your wick down? And what exactly are you using? So when... I burn the candle for the day or for a couple hours or whatever, and I extinguish it, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, the next day, before I light it, I always trim the wick. You trim the wick down so that you don't have one, that the inside of here turns all black from soot, and the wick or the flame isn't so high that it's putting soot out. You want a nice, small flame that's just enough to melt your wax and give off the aroma for whatever scent that candle is. You don't want to your house full of soot and smoke that gets on your walls and your curtains and blah, 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 your furnace filter. So it's candle care, what do I call it? So after you put your candle out in the next day, it's cool. You can buy these candle scissors, you see? And you can get them online, Yankee Candle, there's a lot of places, but um, Basically, you just put it down in the jar, you open this up, you go into the wick, and you cut off just a little bit of the wick. Um, bam. So, it's just a very tiny piece. Not a big deal. But as you can see, you really don't want a very big wick in there, okay? Again, you just want a normal small flame. You don't need <laughs> a huge flame or anything. So you trim your wick. Then I take one of these and I light it. There we go. And as you see, I just have a normal, let me turn this around, a normal flame. It's not shooting out the top. There's no soot. There's no nothing. It's just a nice, uh, flame, uh, no big deal, okay? But you can't leave it like this because basically what's going to happen is the wax is just going to melt just around where the flame is and it's not going to burn evenly like this one is. You'll end up with a lot of wax left on the side and usually a hole down the center. And you're going to spend that kind of money on a candle. I want to use 100% of the candle not just a part of it, okay? So what you do is you buy a candle topper. 
Now, on the one video, I showed you this one, and it's in black with a little bit of gold, and this is a metal, some type of metal. Um, it's kind of heavy, and it fits right on top. So what this does, as you can see with the, the uh, wick, it keeps your, uh, your flame very steady. You know, it's not susceptible to wind, you know, air moving in the house or whatever. It keeps your wick steady burning. But also, the heat that's rising from that flame heats up this metal. The metal, in turn, heats up the glass of the candle, which then melts the wax. So, just like this candle, you see, it keeps it burning even all the way down, okay? So that's why these are important. Um, if you don't use one of these, your flame's gonna be moving around because of air and so forth. It's not gonna burn evenly. You'll probably get a hole down the middle. You'll waste a lot of wax. It turns into a mess. The glass turns into you know, black, soot, nasty. So these are important. Um, I use this one a lot. And the reason is because with this, I just, when it's hot and you go to put it out, I just pick it off the top, put it down and let it cool and put the lid on it sometimes. But here's what I do that I've been doing for a while now. And I haven't been telling anybody, I never thought about it, but uh, it works for me. Um, let me backtrack this a little and get ahead of myself. But uh, these toppers, they come in so many different styles to fit your, see how the, the wind in my house, the uh, heat is running right now. And see how it's blowing the, uh, the flame all around? And when you put these on, see how that works? It works. Anyways, with these, there's all kinds of colors and all kinds of, uh, shapes and so forth to match your decor in your home and um, they have them ceramic they have them in metal and they have them in glass so the one that's in ceramic that i have is this one it's very you know just an off-white like a cream with a little bit of detail it's very heavy and that fits on top okay you can't tell now, but if the room was really dark, you would have a light glow, like a shade on a lamp. Um, and these get very hot and it does the same thing. It warms the glass and helps the wax melt down evenly. And again, they have all kinds of colors and designs to match your home decor. And they also have them for the holidays, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, whatever it may be. Um, they have them in a glass that looks like um, stained glass. And those, a lot of people like those a lot. Um, I couldn't find that one, but I did find this one from Christmas. And it just has the pine needles with pine cones. And usually when people come in, they love this one. But uh, it just glows nicely. And again, you can get them for Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, whatever it may be. They have all kinds of animals and ducks and all birds, all kinds of different ones. It's endless of the toppers you can get. Um, but there you go. So again, the purpose of this is not only for decor, but the heat from the flame heats up the glass. The glass heats up this glass, which then melts the wax and it helps keep this so that it burns evenly all the way down. And you pretty much can get 95 to 98% um, of the candle. Um, once the wick ones that runs out at the very bottom, then there's a little bit of wax at the very bottom that you just can't get to. Um, but these work. So there you go. But since this is Christmas, we'll take that off. And I'll put the everyday one on. And we'll put this aside over here there we go and we'll let that burn back there while i show you the ones i just got in the mail today now that one's called fresh cut roses it's actually my favorite one and of course yes i ordered a new one so that when that one's gone i have a backup yeehaw so we all know about the fresh cut roses so the new one is this white one 
and it's called Coconut Beach. Ooh, Coconut Beach. And it does smell just like you're on a beach. So you're gonna have that salty air smell along with all the suntan lotion and sunscreen and all that all wrapped up in here. So every time I go down onto the, the beach or onto the boardwalk and people pass you by and you can smell all the sunscreen and, and lotions and potions and all that. So that's what that smells like. And then of course the other one, this one is this one's a bring back. They had this years ago and it says it on here. Let me get my glasses. But they said, um, returning favorite. I believe it was like from the, from the 90s, I believe. Well, sure enough, there it is on there. It says from the 90s. So they brought it back to the 90s. Well, this one's called Honeydew Melon. Ah, it smells good. So there's a theme here. So I normally try to keep or get the candles that I'm going to use for the spring, summer and burn those. And then I'll start getting in the ones for fall, the ones that are called like autumn or or um, winter rain and snow blossoms and blah, 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 blah. So I do them for the season. So my house will be smelling either like fresh cut roses or coconut beach, or melon. What's this called again? Honeydew melon. Yep, honeydew melon. But there you go. Back to the uh, candle care. And I'll bring this back forward. Fresh cut roses. That's what my house smells like today. Well, in case a dog has gas, then maybe you don't need a flame in the house because we'd be gone. <laughs> anyway, so fresh cut roses, honeydew melon, and coconut beach. And there you go. Voila. Now, before I go, I'm gonna show you how to extinguish these. So one, after you spent all day of getting your house to smell like fresh cut roses, you don't want your house to all of a sudden smell like blown out candle. The soot and the smell and the smoke, that's a no-no. So of course, this has been burning for a couple of hours. So that means this metal topper and the glass is gonna be very hot, okay? I'm gonna give you two choices. One, if I'm in a hurry, I just take the glass lid that comes with your candles and I just put it right on top and in a couple of seconds it runs out of air and it goes out. So give it a couple of seconds. See it's starting to slowly dim down but I don't want that to happen. Oh man, now it's going to smoke. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. But anyways, that's how I do it um, that way. But the other way that I do it is I have my wick cutting scissors. And remember this topper, this black topper is gonna to be very hot. So I just take it off with this, put it down on a non flammable surface and I put the lid on it and let it go. So you have two ways, don't blow it out. Um, you wanna extinguish it. So either put a lid on it like this and these come with them as you can see, or you can leave this on here Oh, got stuck and just do it like that it's totally your call you could do it either way um, now this way will extinguish it and you might get a slight hint of the smoke that comes out that comes out the little cracks that are on this one um, which like I said that could be a downer however when you use one of these on top this fits perfect on top and seals it very well. So what I do There we go. So as you see it's burning, it's looking all beautiful. Well, it's time to go to bed or you have to leave the house or whatever it may be. Um Remember, this glass is gonna be very hot, so you're not gonna to wanna to touch it. 
I normally just take this, put it on top, because this part is like a, like a rubber, and then put it on top, it seals everything, and in a couple of seconds, it puts itself out. Poof, done. The good thing about this, it's completely sealed. So when you, when you do extinguish a candle or a flame like that, you get that little bit of smoke, that little puff. This keeps it all trapped inside and it dissipates, you know, by itself gently and you won't have that smell in your home. So there you go. Now they got this thing in my face. Um, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, those of you that love candles or just trying to get to know some of the ins and outs, maybe I'm making candles difficult, but in my opinion, it's like, I love candles. I love the smell of them and all that, but I really got tired of the inside of this turning nasty, dark and black and look horrible. And then because I wasn't using any of the toppers, I was wasting a lot of wax because they were burning down the center. And when you spend that kind of money for these, you want to get your money's worth. So I just happened to one day go into a Yankee Candle store and uh, was kind of complaining about that. You know, they're so expensive. And she says, well, and so she educated me on candle care. And that was years ago. That was, wow, at least 20, 25 years ago. And uh, since I've been using these candle toppers, it makes things so much easier. So trim your wicks, use a candle topper, enjoy the aroma they give you and the ambiance without all the mess. Okay, thanks for coming along. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Maybe think about subscribing to my channel. That would be awesome. Maybe give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, ring that bell so each and every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Talk to you soon.